Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere, and it's about time that we discuss an Enfer build. Um, it's taken me a while. Um, probably had to concentrate on other things, uh, and I'm actually now back uh, covering covering a Path to Nowhere. I recently actually got back to my rhythm in playing Path to Nowhere. So we're gonna have a build guide for Enfer discussing skill priorities crime brand and how to use her okay starting off with skill priority so we have four skills definitely your priority i'm gonna discuss all starting with priority number one would be her ultimate so this one is the one is really her creme de la creme uh enver is actually tier zero in the tier list and this one is very, very nice to have. Although this is going only to be 10 seconds, you can you can really take advantage of this because of the fear ripples here. When an enemy has fear, they usually turn their back and they do not attack you. And this is going to be on a 3x3 three three square. Um, and it's going to be wide. It's like three rows. Uh, let's say, for example, if if a group is going towards you, three rows, um, and all three will be affected going towards you. So not only in your front, in your side, and the back of the um, of the sinner that she gives this to the dark submersion. So you have to spam this. Um, I'm gonna show you my build later on how to spam it. Cost is around forty a bit expensive but again worth it especially if you are encountering mobs and dozens of mobs so moving on to the next priority would be horrific mark this is her passive so adds horrific mark to an enemy when an enemy is put in fear lasting for six seconds if an allied sinner is present in the grid before enfer at the start so the ally should be in front of enfer facing the enemy the sinner will deal 29 percent so this increases more damage to enemies with horrific mark throughout the entire battle so this is a very very nice passive to have you put this in your heavy hitter then it's gonna be game over um she gives a different you know she gives a buff but she also gives a debuff which entails um you know a lot of crowd control or or board control if i may say in terms of the enemies coming to your side next on the priority the third one is insanity which is another passive when in fear an enemy suffers 288 magic damage by enfer so this is an additional damage this goes as high as 360 third priority and the last definitely would be her basic attack or normal attack uh 110 nothing to brag about again her you know her specialty is going to be this one she's going to be controlling the board with this one so you have to make sure that she has a lot of energy and that she can generate a lot of energy okay next off is going to be her crime brand here guys um the crime brand is actually going to help her a lot because what I, you know, I built her on is going to be giving her energy. So first one, the bottom, we have Corridor Echo 3. So this is plus 8 initial energy, with, which gives you a head start. This one is going to be plus 5 initial energy, so that's 13. And this one is going to be gains 3 energy points after chief skill can be triggered only once per 10 seconds. So that's an additional energy for her. She is actually energy hungry because of the need to spam her ultimate, guys. So take note, if you don't have these three, my, you know, my simplest recommendation would be to have this temporarily. Um, I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. So Syndicate Glory, this is your temporary, um, you know, your temporary crime brand if you don't have these three. Definitely build her to be more energy efficient and energy generating. 
Okay, guys, so this is her deployment role. I put her in the middle where she can affect the um, Nox here. She can she can really put a buff on Nox. And fear, if you if if the ultimate goes through Nox, then the fear goes through these nine these three by three tiles here. So when enemies come to the front, then they get affected by fear. Take note that you don't waste or you time your placement of her ultimate because again, it has only a duration of six. And the passive has a duration of six seconds. So no, 10, uh, 10 for the passive and six, uh, sorry, 10 for the ultimate and six for the passive, the first one, the second skill priority that I mentioned to you guys. So let's try this out. And um, I want to show you guys. Um, so let's, let's do more energy here that we could uh, sample the fear. So no fear there. Too early for that one. So let's uh, let's do another round of fear later. Let us move her here and her here. There. I need more more subjects here. There you go. So time your fear. Let's uh, time it a bit. There you go. So when they have fear, they turn their back. As you can see, it's good. It's going to repeat. It's going to be a wave of three. So three times they're gonna go back and forth, and that is going to be three rows in front of you guys. It's um, make sure again that the her energy is going is faster so that she she could use. Or spam that skill as you know, frequent as possible. Again, turning back there. She's going to be a good support. Holding back a lot of mobs. So that is, again, guys, on how to use her. Okay, so for Shackle level, I don't have any copies of her. Too bad. Um, but for her Shackle level, let's reference this. Number one is not that important. Um, what you need to more or less reach is number two. The energy recovery speed is going to be, if your initial energy is already big, the next one is shackle number two. You know, need need to reach this because this is going to give her a plus 7.5%. 7, 7 and ultimately, you need to reach number five. Number two is already good because th that would be your, your, you know, your initial step. Then five is your must. And um, number four is also um, a good on the way to five because it gains 15 energy when the battle starts. Plus what, you know, I think for based on the crime brands, she has 13 plus 15. So it actually hastens her, um, her, what do you call it? Her ability to hold on to mobs especially if mobs are aggressive and they come really in waves there are a lot of stages right now that are you know that really has a lot of mobs and they come in waves so this energy recovery speed and initial energy 15 is going to help a lot when you build enfer okay so for her crime brand let's uh take a look so is it worth to phase three her so let's take a look at the the exclusive grand band so the false one new exclusive ultimate all enemies within a single grid suffer attack of 600 percent which is a nice add to her magic so two core damage so she breaks core with this one and four seconds of fear imagine that so single grid within a single grid Okay, so after breaking a core with this ultimate, the fear effect will spread to all enemies. Nice. It can only be used once every battle. This is going to be your ultimate, uh, more or less. It's like it's like your your last minute bomb or trigger to either deal damage, to either core break, or to either inflict fear. So fortunately for this one, this is going to be all three. 
and this is going to be massive so if you're asking me if uh, face training her is actually worth it yes it is i already have her at phase three unfortunately i don't have the material cost here so for now i'll be saving up for enfer and hopefully i could get, get copies of her in the future so that is it guys um what do you think of enfer do you have her currently um what is your build comment down below um and have you used her so far so again guys thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here